Continuing our team coverage now, 10 on your side's Lauren Compton has been at the hospital all day long. Lauren, what's going on? Tom, all of the kids were brought here, checked out, and they're all okay. But what they saw and heard on that bus is something that a lot of them will remember for a very long time. This bus was supposed to take a group of North Carolina teenagers on a college visit to Hampton University. Instead, they ended up here at Southampton Memorial Hospital. One chaperone, Deval Watson, dead. His wife, Teresa, is now fighting for her life in Norfolk. Parents tell me Watson was a Hampton alumnus and organized the trip. Just in kind of in shock. I'm just, I'm just thankful nothing happened to my son, but sad that something happened to someone else, someone trying to do some good for the kids. Several parents rushed to this Franklin hospital after getting frantic calls from their children. Um, I was pretty scared when I was talking to my dad, and I was kind of like shaking all over like, during that event, and it was pretty scary. Once I got here, all I can do is just embrace them and hug them and hold them and just thank God. The parents' relief turned to sadness when they heard what their children saw inside the bus when the driver lost control and the bus overturned on Route 58. The bus like hit the hill and hit the side and like. Um, Mr. Watson went through the window with a hair, I guess out, and um, this, Mrs. Watson like went through the window, and I think that's how she got under her arm under the bus. Lynch says he and several students had to climb through the front window of the bus and over their chaperone, Mrs. Watson. They did what they could to free her from the bus. Some was like breaking thing in the dirt out um, over her arm so that they could get um, it out, it out, out of the bus. I can't even imagine how they feel to put myself in their shoes. Me, I've never seen anything like that. A very difficult day for those kids, but none of the kids were injured. A lot of those kids headed back home with their parents just a few hours ago, and I'm told that their female chaperone, Teresa Watson, is being treated at the Sintera Norfolk General Hospital. She is listed in critical condition. Reporting live in Franklin, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side. Now, the bus company released this to our Anita Blanton. Quote, Horizon Coaches wishes to express its sorrow and sympathy to those impacted by this accident. The company will do everything it can to help determine the cause of the accident. End quote. Now, 10 on your side looked into Horizon Coach Line's history. They operated nationwide in 16 different cities. It's been owned by Transportation Management Services since 2009. And according to the U.S. Department of Transportation, the records they keep, Horizon has three crashes on its record in the past two years, only resulting in one injury. More on the bus crash on Wavy.com. You can always get the latest information on the investigation. And we have still photos that were taken from the scene moments after the crash.